Question comes on the adoption of the further amendment. The Chair recognizes Mr. McMurtry of Dedham. Oh, there he is. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And through you to the members, Mr. Speaker, this is going to be the shortest maiden speech given in the history of the House of Representatives. With, with all sincerity and with all due respect, I rise against the proposed amendment which would cap the film tax credits and have a devastating impact on the Massachusetts economy. And I'm happy today to be delivering my maiden speech as part of this healthy debate. As some of you may be aware, in my other life, I operate an art house movie theater in my hometown located in the historic Dedham Square. And on a smaller, more personal note, I know firsthand the impact that movies have on our local economy. In fact, I have been told that if my business ever closed, others would soon follow. When I was campaigning to proudly join you in the great and general court, I was told by voters on many occasions that I would have their support as long as I kept my theater open. The reason why I share this personal story with each of you is to highlight the real, the real passion, interest, and enjoyment that all of our constituents derive from motion pictures. But that is secondary. On a larger scale, the proposed further amendment would have the same negative impact to the overall economy of Massachusetts. This exciting industry, new to our state, is beginning to grow as we attract studios to come to our neighborhoods to create and produce their art of filmmaking. An industry now in its infancy stage and an industry that needs our continued support. Today, as elected representatives, it's about honoring our commitment to the thousands of citizens in the Commonwealth that depend on the film industry to pay their mortgages, provide food and shelter for their families, and provide a better tomorrow for their children. Not about the superstars you see on the screens, but the thousands of neighbors who work behind the scenes. It's about a promise made and a promise that should be kept to foster a growing industry, an industry that has already generated billions of dollars in economic activity and added jobs in a down economy, quality jobs, and there's nothing Hollywood about that. This is about allowing as many citizens of the, as possible of the Commonwealth to live the American dream. Not only jobs for actors and actresses, musicians, technical support, truck drivers, carpenters, electricians, and countless other trades. The film industry complements many of our existing businesses in our Commonwealth, amongst others tourism, hospitality, higher education, with thousands upon thousands of other immeasurable and incalculable impacts. Massachusetts is rich in history and culture. It's attractive to filmmakers. Let us continue that attraction and not be misled by the myths. For example, the Commonwealth does not write a check to anyone. A credit is issued for the money that otherwise would not have been spent in this state. Actors, even Hollywood's biggest stars, are required to pay 100% of all Massachusetts taxes on their salaries, including all residual income made from the films to be eligible for a tax credit. In essence, we are discounting an industry in a very difficult economic time to get them to do business within our cities and towns and our state and to employ our citizens. Money has to be spent in Massachusetts first before it's ever eligible for any tax credits. Money that could be and will be spent in other states if we hinder or continue to stir uncertainty into this growing opportunity. Reports state that every dollar spent directly on films generates close to another dollar in economic activity. This new money stimulates both local and state economy through meals and lodging taxes in many of those communities that you represent that adopted the local option tax. We are all very well aware that we live in a global economy. Films transcend geographic boundaries, and the beauties 
The beauty of films made in Massachusetts is filmed by millions across the globe, fostering tourism, conventions, and even the real potential to attract new businesses to operate in Massachusetts. And it's also interesting to note that even our friends from across the aisle recognize the significance of these beneficial tax credits, and that alone is worth not passing this further amendment. I ask you to keep the stars shining on Massachusetts. Do, do not bring the days of Massachusetts back to the days of silent films by stopping these companies from coming to our state. I respectfully urge that you stand with me and continue to support the film tax credit by voting against this amendment. Thank you to my colleagues for your attention, and thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. Roll call having been ordered. Roll call machine is now open and we remain open for three minutes. Chair would ask that the court officer summons the members and tell them that a roll call is in progress and will remain open for three minutes. Chair would also take, tell the members that there will be also a roll call immediately following this upcoming roll call, so please stay close to the chamber. Have all members voted or wish to do so? Have all members voted? Have all members voted wish to do so? Have all members voted?
Time for voting has expired. The clerk will display the tally. There being 10 members, 10 members votes in the affirmative, 146 in the negative, the amendment is not adopted.